Welcome back students to the video lecture series. I am Adil Mansuri from Civil Engineering Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Okay students, so let us now start with the next method that is the decrease in rate of growth method. Okay, this method is also known as logistic curve method or S curve method. Okay, so it is found that the rate of increase of population never remain constant, but it keeps on varying, right? So the population of a city will grow until it reaches a saturation population, which is usually established by the economic opportunities, right? It means there are some people in the countryside who will migrate into the city in search of economic opportunities. So till the economic opportunities are present or if there are more economic op opportunities then people will migrate to the cities and if the economic opportunities will stop or it will reduce then there will be no increase in the population so all population thus grow according to logistic or the s curve so the curve abc starts with a low rate of growth followed by a high rate and then at a progressively lower rate to the saturation population. So let us have a look at the graph. Okay, so this is the graph of logistic curve method or the decrease in rate of growth method. Okay, so let us, so let us now learn the formula for finding out the population as per this method. Okay, students. So the population can be found out with this formula that is P equals to PS upon 1 plus E raised to A plus BT. Okay, where PS, A and B are found from the three census data. Okay, I'll write PS, A and B that are found from three census data okay that is census data of the past three decades right next the equation of ps that is the saturation population ps is known as saturation population right so PS is found out by 2 P0 P1 P2 minus P1 square into P0 plus P2 divided by P0 P2 minus P1 square right and A can be found out by the formula log to the base E into PS minus P0 upon P0, right? So, once you have found out PS, you can find out A, right? And formula for B is 1 by N log to the base E P0 into PS minus P1 upon P1 into PS minus P0. Okay, students. So, here P0, P1 and P2 are population data of past three decades. Okay. So, once you know this formula, you can easily find out the population for a particular decade. Okay. So, let us begin. Okay, students, so let us now start with the numerical. Okay, students, so let us now move towards the numerical. The question says that find out the population in the year 2031 and 2041 by decrease in rate of growth method. Okay, the data is year and the population. That is, in 1981, the population is given as 16,000. 
in the year 1981 population is given 16,000 91 population is 24,000 in 2001 30, 34,000 in 2001 34,000 and in 2011 47,000 right so let us start with the solution that is we are given P0 equals to 24,000 P1 equals to 34,000 and P2 equals to 47,000 right so we also need to find out T right so for 2031 T will be equals to 2031 minus 1981 that is 50 and for 2041 T will be equals to 2041 minus 1981 that is equals to 60 right and taking n equals to 10 years okay so first we need to find out ps ps can be found out with the formula 2 p0 p1 p2 minus p1 square into p0 plus p2 upon p0 into p2 minus p1 square okay So, this will be equals to 2 24,000 to 34,000 into 47,000 minus P1 square that is 34,000 square into 24,000 plus 47,000 divided by P0, P2 that is 24,000 into 47,000 minus 34,000 square. So this comes out to be equals to 1,91,857. Okay. Clear? So next step is to find out A and B. right so now a will be equals to log to the base e into p s minus p0 upon p0 right so this will be equals to log to the base e 191857 minus p0 that is 24000 divided by p0 that is 24000 so this will be equals to 1.945 okay similarly b will be equals to 1 by n log to the base e p0 into ps minus p1 upon p1 into ps minus p0 right so this will be equals to 1 by n log e 24,000 into PS that is 191857 minus P1 that is 34,000 divided by 34,000 into 191857 minus 24,000 right so this comes out to be equals to minus 0 0.0409 we can approximately take it as minus 0 0.041 right so we found out a we found out b and we found out p s right that is 191857 so we now know the formula to find out p that is population P S upon 1 plus E raised to A plus B T. Right. So let us find out. So from the formula for finding out population in the year P uh, 2031 that is P 2031. This will be equals to P S upon 
वन प्लस ई रेस टू ए प्लस बी इंटू टी राइट सो टी विल बी फिफ्टी राइट सो दिस विल बी वन नाइन वन एट फाइव सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस ई रेस टू वन पॉइंट नाइन फोर फाइव माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर वन इंटू फिफ्टी क्लियर सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल्स टू वन डबल जीरो नाइन सिक्स जीरो ओके सिमिलरली P two zero four one will be equals to P S upon one plus E raised to A plus B into sixty, right? So this will be equals to one nine one eight five seven divided by one plus E raised to A. What will be what is A? One point nine four five minus zero point zero four one into sixty. Right, so this comes out to be equals to one two double zero nine eight. Fine. So the final answer will be P two zero three one will be equals to one double zero nine six zero, and P two zero four one will be equals to one two double zero nine eight. Okay. So this is how. the in, uh, decrease in rate of growth method works okay i hope students you have now got the clear idea regarding all these methods okay and so that's all for today's video we will be discussing some new methods in the next video